I've been wanting to walk through uh, what I've done to my Vibe Seaghost 130 um, and point out uh, little mo mo different modifications that I've done that might help others out as well. I've done a lot of research and um, tried a lot of different products and some of them have been great, some of them not so great. Um, I actually have a box full of stuff that I never, um, that, that's not going to make it um, on the kayak full time just because I, I uh, either didn't have the space for it or didn't, um, couldn't, couldn't uh, justify the space that it's using. So I usually try to keep my casting area kind of open um, for the most part. This is how I'm going to have it set up, just going out if I want to film or something like that. Uh, whenever I'm out for a tourney, I'll actually have um, a couple less cameras, um, probably only run one camera. But you know, I'll have my basic stuff. I'll have a, a rod holder, uh, two rod holders, one of them actually seconds as my stakeout pole um, holder. And um, that's really all I want to have up front besides my fish finder and then my anchor wizard. So. I'm going to go ahead and walk through a little bit. I um, added this rope and just tied it. I can't even remember the name of the knot, but tied it. Not on this deal. Um, so it's got a loop. Uh, it's just nice to have if you, uh, anytime you're pulling up on land, anything like that. Um, also, can second as like a stand assist rope. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know how it's going to do with the front there, but normally I don't really need help getting up. Um, I actually have a raised seat, so it makes it a little bit easier for me there. Uh, secondly, I wanted to show you what I did here with this Omega um, uh, Pro here. Uh, it's a mount made by Yak Attack, but I've got this one towards angle down, and I can actually take my stakeout pole. And if my garage is going to be tall enough, I don't know, but. You can kind of see, you know, that's not. Well, essentially what, what I'll do, I'll fit through that, um, stay in place. The garage is too tall for me, or isn't tall enough for me to fit it there. Um, but I wanted that so I'd be able to use the stakeout pole because I have an anchor trolley, but my anchor wizard is attached to it and, um, and, uh, that's about the best option that I could find in order to make that work. So um, I'll have that, and then I've got this second one as a rod holder. These are great. Um, they come off. You can easily transport them. You can move them out just to you know rotate them and stuff like that, whichever way. What's great about them also is that they do lock in place. So if you're ever trolling or something like that, for instance, if I wanted to you know, stick a rod out there and uh, paddle along the controller or something like that. These things will not move once they're locked into place, um, which is great. So I do have my anchor wizard here. Uh, got that this year, and kind of follow along here what I've done with it. I've got it attached to uh, some of these Yak Attack little eyelets type deal. Also seconds as a uh, um, anchor point for my crate, um, but I've just got it on a little cutting board plate that I cut out myself and uh, kind of holds it in place there so I can still use the chute. Um, I did make this little deal so I could use my anchor trolley. Uh, it's got a little o-ring, metal o-ring on it. My wife's sleeping so I'm to try not to be too loud here. But you can see I've got a little metal o-ring there and then this little clip, I can move it the full length, so depending on which way the wind is blowing or how I want to fish a piece of structure, I can move it around, um, that sort of thing. Um, added this little mighty mount here for my flag, fishing bigger bodies of water or something like that. It's nice to have, uh, be able to be a little bit more visible. Um, Mark, and I apologize if I pronounce his last name, uh, Lead actually makes these little um, mounts that raise the front of your seat, which is absolutely perfect. I love this. What's also great about it, I have a strap down the back, but as you can see, I can fit my soft plastics underneath there. So I have two bags full of uh, soft plastics that I'll take out with me, and they fit perfect underneath of that. Um, I also have one of Wesley Mullins. Um, 
hinge kits, the pro hinge kit. So um, I actually moved my fish finder up a little bit and used a little ram mount because uh, I didn't like it all the way at the back. So I moved it up a little bit. I can still use my cup holder. Um, anyways, it raises up like that. I did add a little, uh, you can't really see it too well, but I did add some a strip of aluminum here to make it a little bit stronger. Um, holds a little bit better and that sort of thing. Um, I've got three different compartments in here. These two are actually velcroed in there, uh, but this one's just loose, but I can take it out pretty easily. It's got all my camera batteries. Uh, I put my scale in there, pliers. I actually have some lens cleaner. So I'm just kind of handy. I used to actually really dislike the center console on these vibes, but um, I've grown to love them and um, been great storage. Alright, so walking on around, um, like I said, I do film a lot, so on the back here I've got a ram, I think it's a tough pull too, for my GoPro. Um, I keep it to where I can twist it around and change the battery fairly easily, so you can see it, it uh, moves, so if I need to change the battery, I don't have to find land to do that. Um, but it gives a great over-the-shoulder look there. Um, not 100% sure I like where I have my uh, net at right now, but that's what it's going to be for the time being until I find something better. Uh, what's great about having these little straps here, my catch board also fits underneath them and kind of acts as a little holder for it. I do have a Never Lost Gear um, uh, leash to, to, so I don't lose it. Those things are heavy and they will sink very fast and very quality cool. mate have a very high quality um, but again they are heavy and they will sink so you don't want to lose it so attach it to something I have a little extra paddle back here just to have it uh, if you ever need it um, got a little rod holder here fits great in a little bungee up front keeps it kind of at the side a little bit but still within use uh, like I said I've got another camera here this is more for Facing the angle, you know, if I catch a nice fish, I can pull a picture from the video that I record or um, just video in general. Uh, this is the little something new I'm going to try this year. I've got a another little ram mount that actually goes down. This is, this is a cheap um, Amazon camera, but um, it's in a waterproof casing and thought it'd be kind of cool to get some underwater um, footage this year when I'm going in any fish or anything like that. Or, fishing some of the clearer lakes that, you know, you might be able to just get a different angle. That'd be pretty cool. I haven't really seen a lot of people use that. So it's going to be something I'm going to try um, for my transducer. I actually have a Garmin 7 SV. So that SV stands for the side view. Um, the transducer fits perfect underneath of the already cut out transducer hole on the Vibes. Um, I actually have a Burley Pro mount. Um, or I think that's what it's called, a Burley Pro transducer mount or something. Actually, I actually have the one made for Hobie, and I kind of rigged it a little bit to where it'd work on the vibe. Uh, I don't know if I can get underneath there, and it's going to be light enough to actually see it, but uh, no, it's too dark. But anyways, it fits underneath there and uh, protects it from hitting, or from if I hit anything. I fish a lot of lakes that have stumps and that sort of thing. Um, they actually make one specific for Vibe now, so if you're in the market, I highly recommend it. The only issue I had with it, um, last year I fish a lot of uh, lakes with, with mud and I um, got a lot of mud actually stuck up in the mouth and uh, I found that out when I was out um, fishing and my uh, fish finder was, was, picture was terrible. Couldn't figure out why and I get home and um, sure enough, there's there's mud and some rocks all clogged up in the mount there. So what I did was I drained a or I drilled some bigger drain holes so that all that stuff will drain out whenever um, I'm done fishing that sort of thing. So there you have it. That's my um, Vibe Seaghost 130 setup, and hopefully there's some stuff that you might have pulled from this that will help you out or come up with some better ideas. If you do, let me know. I'd be happy to, you know, find ways to improve on something. There's always a way to, so. Um, I did add these little um, 
soft like foam type deals here on the back because I, I noticed last year I don't have any foam on my vibe but I did notice when this thing comes down if it hits a the side there or even in, in the hole it's it's pretty loud so if it's at it it's at least a little bit quieter uh, softens that blow so but there you have it and oh one last thing I didn't want to show you this Leslie Nolan I think it's Leslie Leslie Nolan I believe made me this as well as just a little uh, fish grip holster um, fits perfectly on the side here just added some um, marine seal on the back side of this and, and put a couple screws in there and um, that's been fantastic what I like to do is whenever I catch a fish and I'm going to be measuring it I'll um, actually use a fish grip and it's tethered here um, drop it and I'll put the fish on there drop it over the side and uh, kind of let it swim around until I'm ready to actually get the picture so I'll um, go ahead and pull my board up and get my camera out and have everything ready to go and um, I've lost way too many fish uh, where I've tried to rush it or um, been messing around with stuff trying to get that shot so anyways if you have any uh, feedback I'd be happy to hear it and hopefully maybe you're able to pull something out of there and out of this that uh, will help you out thanks